There is a need. And you already heard about how great the need is in Nigeria. But never think of Nigeria alone. Think West Africa, think Africa, and like Al Haji Dan um, Aliko Dangote, think the world from here. Events like this, continuous collaboration, continuous engagement. My mandate, by the way, is investment promotion. I guess there are a couple of things that can help investment in Nigeria. Uh, there are some number of drawbacks that we have that seem to affect companies that want to invest. I hear in many circles when people give examples of progress in Africa, and it's an example I like myself about what Rwanda has done. But if you put it in context, that even though progress is happening, the progress is happening at a slower pace, this isn't really to give an excuse for that progress, it is just to give some context. So we recognize for everything that investors do, and even though my job is investment promotion, I tell my colleagues in government that I'm like your driver. It is my responsibility to get you to your destination on time. But if it'll take 30 minutes to drive to the destination and you enter the car five minutes before, well, it's either I break your neck getting you there or you're certainly going to be late. So it's important that the business environment and the drivers of the business environment do the things that we need to do, you know, um, for the market to remain interesting to investors. Well, let me say, uh, nobody really knows for sure when the first private sector investment by an American company took place, nor which company it was, uh, nor what the investment was. But as you appreciate already from the presentations, the commercial and investment footprint of American business in Nigeria is deep, very broad-based, and, and highly, highly consequential. The cost of doing business, because it costs you a lot of money, cost you to borrow, a uh, high cost of borrowing. Um, but is inflation necessarily a bad thing? No. If inflation is accompanied by growth, uh, and what we call the natural rate of inflation, at 11.37, the average uh, rate of inflation in sub-Saharan Africa is 8.5%. So Nigeria's inflation is much higher than the original inflation. Um, Nigeria and South Africa average growth put together is about 0.6%. If you take Nigeria's 2% or 1.9% and South Africa, while the next five countries are growing at about almost 7%. So you can see that there are structural problems that are leading to constrictions, and these constrictions are making restricting growth, but at the same time at a high cost. The challenges are early, early days, what we call early stage challenges. Uh, but as time goes on, Nigeria, there's transparency, there's governance, there's skill, and then there's enforcement of laws and the ease of doing business. All of those things are being tackled. So we think that the future holds much promise, but there's work to be done. So let's, let me not, nobody's going to fool you that it's an easy, it's a walk in the park. There's work to be done. American investors face the same challenges that different investors face. Um, they need to understand the market, they need to find the right point of entry, they need to find the right partners for entry, and they need to define a strategy that helps them get the best out of the market despite the challenges that exist. The relationship between Nigeria and the United States of America is a very strategic one. You know, and um, of course the USA remains the largest economy in the world and one that you can't ignore. And Nigeria remains the largest economy in Africa and one you can't ignore. And I think we both have a responsibility to work together for the greater good of not just our two countries, but frankly, the world and certainly Africa. There are challenges with doing business in Nigeria, but those challenges can very easily be surmounted by a little local knowledge and by finding the right local partners. Let me say that when it comes to this issue of removing hindrances, and making it easier. It's something I am very passionate about and it's something as a government we want to really turn into uh, not just a mantra but we would like to turn the rhetoric on its head. You know the way people talk about Nigeria being a difficult place to do business and I'm honestly wrong but we would like to see that reversed. 
We want this place to become one of the easiest places to do business in the world. And I just thank all the Nigerian and American businesses for participating in this fair uh, and wish you all a rewarding and productive experience. I want to say thank you again and enjoy your time here. Long live Nigeria, long live the ABC, and long live the American companies operating here in Nigeria. You guys, this is a small symbol of a big fact that together we're cutting red tape and making sure that this and every place between our countries is open for business. Minister, final word? Final word is together we are stronger, not separate. Yeah.